Hello and welcome back everyone. This is Mohammed Inzamam from Saimila Estate Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. In this video lecture series, every single day we are updating uh, most expected questions uh, from uh, trigonometry, uh, other chapters, prob uh, properties of triangle, universe trigonometry. Okay. So the most expected questions in the today's class is the question number one is there over the board. Okay. See over the question. Two tan inverse of three by four. For this. 2 theta is the concept that we need to understand. 2 theta question is appeared in the 2022, 21, 20 I guess. Okay, That is uh, repeatedly this 2 theta concept questions are appearing. So for that we need to know the formula of, of 2 tan inverse x. 2 tan inverse x is equals to all the answers are given in terms of sin inverse. So we can write the formula in terms of sin inverse of formula is 2x divided by 1 plus x square. Where in the place of x, in the given question, x value is 3 by 4. So 2 tan inverse of 3 by 4 can be written as sin inverse of 2 into 3 by 4 divided by 1 plus 3 square by 4 square. That is 9 by 16. So what we can write here? 2, 1, 2, 2, 3 divided by 2, whole divided by 16 plus 9, 25, 25 by 16. 2, 1, 2, 8, 8, 3 is a 24. So sin inverse of 24 by 25. So this is how we have converted the 2 tan inverse x in terms of sin inverse of x. So what is the answer? Sin inverse of 24 by 25 which is given in the option number 1. Try to memorize 2 tan inverse. Actual 2 tan inverse we are having 3 formulas. 2 tan inverse x is equals to sin inverse of 2x divided by 1 plus x square. It can be written in terms of cos inverse of 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square. It can also be written in terms of tan inverse of 2x divided by 1 minus x square. So here we are having three formulas conversion that is 2 tan inverse in terms of sin, cos and tan. Okay, go for the next question. Sin inverse of 3 by 5, this is 85, misprinted. 3 by 5, 8 by 17. For this we need to know the formula for x plus y. Sin inverse of x plus sin inverse of y is equals to sin inverse of x root 1 minus y square plus y root 1 minus x square whereas it can be written as sin inverse of x x value is 3 by 5 root of 1 minus 8 square by 17 square we need to know the triplet 8 15 17 okay 8 15 and 17 so this is 17 square minus 8 square will become 15 square so this is 15 by 17 okay this is 3 by 5 plus y y value is 8 by 17 root of 1 minus 3 square by 5 square so triplet here is 3 4 5 here the triplet is 8 15 17 so if you know the triplet 5 square minus 3 square is 4 square so it's gonna become 4 divided by 5 17 5 17 5 17 5 times you can say 17 5 times 5 7 za 35 5 1 za 5 6 7 8 85 so we have 85 here 5 3 za 15 8 4 za 32 15 3 za 45 15 3 za 45 32 so 45 32 is gonna become 77 by 85 so what is the answer gonna become here sine inverse of 77 by 85 is the correct answer so for this we need to know the formula for x plus y term. This x plus y concept is also repeated in the previous ESET examination question. Make sure you know all the four formulas. Sin inverse of x plus sin inverse y, sin inverse of x minus sin inverse y, cos inverse x plus cos inverse y, cos inverse x minus cos inverse y. Four formulas are there. Please go through all the four formulas in order to understand the concept and as well as direct approach. Triplet is also going to play a very important role while solving these questions. When you know all the triplets easily you can solve the questions without even going for direct multiplication. Okay? Pause the video and note it down. Let's go for the next question. Tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y. This concept we discussed in the previous video lecture also. Tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is equals to tan inverse of okay, tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus xy. But usually we do is cross method there. 1, 4, 2, 9, 9, 1 za, 9, 4, 2 za, 8, 9, 4 za, 36. 1 2 za 2 so this is the first multiply this is second multiply this is third this one is fourth so 9 plus 8 is 17 36 minus 2 34 17 1 za 17 2 za so what is the answer now tan inverse of 1 by 2 is your answer go through it 
क्रॉस मेथड वन फोर टू नाइन नाइन वन जा फोर टू जा नाइन फोर जा टू वन जा दिस इज द मेथड वी यूजली एम्प्लॉय इन ऑर्डर टू सोल्व द टेन यूनिवर्स प्रॉब्लम्स ओके गो थ्रू इट क्रॉस मेथड इट इज पॉज द वीडियो नोट इट डाउन गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कॉज इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स वाई दिस इज अगेन द फॉर्मूला फॉर कॉज इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स प्लस कॉज इनवर्स ऑफ वाई इट कैन बी रिटर्न इन टर्म्स ऑफ साइन इनवर्स ऑफ वाई रूट वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स रूट वन माइनस वाई स्क्वायर और इट कैन बी रिटर्न इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉज इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स वाई इट इज गिवन प्लस सो हियर यूनिट राइट माइनस रूट ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस वाई स्क्वायर ओके सो दिस इज माइनस गिवन हियर सो इफ माइनस इज देयर द आंसर इज वॉट कॉज इनवर्स ऑफ एक्स प्लस कॉज इनवर्स ऑफ वाई सो दिस इज गोइंग टू बिकम योर करेक्ट आंसर डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला इज asked in this very question sin inverse of x plus sin inverse y sin inverse minus cos inverse plus cos inverse minus four formulas among which two already i have discussed okay go through it moving on to the next question again in the same formula for sin inverse of this formula i already told you in the first slide itself what is the formula in the first slide that we discussed okay sin inverse of 2x by 1 plus x square 2 tan inverse x 2 tan inverse x now you see sin inverse of 2a by 1 plus x square sin inverse of sin inverse of 2a by 1 plus a square the sin inverse of 2a by 1 plus a square is the formula for 2 tan inverse a sin inverse of cos inverse of also cos inverse of 1 minus a square by 1 plus a square this is the formula for 2 tan inverse a so This entire expression is 2 tan inverse a. This entire expression is 2 tan inverse a. So this is 2 tan inverse a. 2 tan inverse a. So this 2 2 2 2 gets cancelled. So tan inverse a plus tan inverse a will be getting tan inverse plus tan inverse is 2 tan inverse. Tan inverse of a plus tan inverse of a. Outside we have tan. This will become 2 tan inverse a. Outside we have tan. What is the formula for 2 tan inverse in terms of tan inverse? Formula for 2 tan inverse in terms of tan inverse. 2 tan inverse formula in terms of tan inverse is tan inverse of 2x by 1 minus x square 2x by 1 minus x square so what are we going to get here 2 tan inverse a can be written as tan inverse of 2a by 1 minus a square what is the answer 2a by 1 minus a square is your answer go through it Pause the video and note it down so that we can go for the next question. This is again a logical problem. Angle plus angle plus angle is going to be taken as 180. So if tan inverse of x I am assuming as 60, then x will be equal to tan 60. Tan 60 value is root 3. Y value root 3. Z value root 3 because All of these three terms we are assuming as 60, 60. Tan inverse of x equal to 60, x equal to tan 60. Tan inverse y equal to 60, y equal to tan 60. Tan inverse of z equal to 60, z equal to tan 60. Tan 60 values are root 3, root 3, root 3. What is the question given? X plus y plus z. That means we can write it here: root 3 plus root 3 plus root 3. This is only assumption, okay? What is the answer? 3 root 3. But 3 root 3 is not there in any of the options. Option number one: x, y, z. So what we can write here root three, root three, root three. What is the answer? Three root three. So in x y z itself we have got the answer as three root three. So what is the correct answer going to become? Option number one. Go through it. It is only logical way of solving the problem, guys. We are not substituting any method. Assuming the angle, substituting and verifying the question and options. Similarly, let's see one more question. Angle plus angle plus angle is 3 pi by 2. So shall I write this first angle as pi by 2, second angle as pi by 2, third angle is also as pi by 2. Pi by 2 plus pi by 2 plus pi by 2, 3 pi by 2. When sine inverse of x is equals to pi by 2, then x is equals to sine 90. What is the value for sine 90? 1. Y value 1. Z value 1. X Y Z all the values are 1. 1 power anything is 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 9 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 1. So 3 minus 9 divided by 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 is a. That means it is 3 minus 3. 3 minus 3. Answer is what a zero. So what is the correct answer for this question? Gonna become option number two. Go through it. Pause the video and note it down so that we can go for the next question. Tan inverse of a by x plus tan inverse of b by x is equal to pi by two. Pi by two form indicates. Pi by two form is one of the important concept. 
very much important sin inverse x plus cos inverse of x is equals to pi by 2 similarly tan inverse of x plus cot inverse of x is equals to pi by 2 secant inverse of x plus cosecant inverse of x is equals to pi by 2 so here focus on this second formula tan plus cot will give you pi by 2 he is saying tan plus tan is pi by 2 so shall i take this tan inverse as cot inverse of x by b yes we can write because tan inverse of a is cot inverse of 1 by a so now it is in the standard formula of tan inverse of a by x plus cot inverse of something is equals to pi by 2 tan inverse of something plus cot inverse of something equal to pi by 2 that means this variable term must be equal to each other okay then only it is going to become pi by 2 so what i can write here is a by x and x by b both are equal cross multiply a b is equals to x square x is equals to root a b x is equals to root a b so what is the correct answer gonna become 3 3 is the correct answer try to memorize the pi by 2 form 3 of the formula among which most important one is first one itself sin inverse plus cos inverse is equals to pi by 2 when in the pi by 2 answer will be there whenever these variable terms are equal x and x are equal okay go through it similar question tan inverse of x plus 1 tan inverse of x minus 1 is equals to 180 plus tan inverse we know the formula cross method x into x cross method first multiple second multiple this is third multiple this is fourth multiple okay so let's do it x into x x square x into 1 x is first term numerator plus denominator minus x minus 1 into x into x x square x minus 1 into x minus 1 x minus 1 whole square actually okay whole square means a square plus b square minus 2ab minus 2ab now denominator x into x x square x into 1 minus x minus of numerator into a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square so x square minus 1 here you will be having what a tan inverse first of all let's solve it entire what is it gonna become here we have one x square this here also we have one x square x square x square will become two x square okay now we have x minus two x x minus two x will become minus x so what is the left out part now only plus one okay whole divided by here we have x square here we have minus x square both gets cancelled minus of minus will become plus one one minus x is the denominator so now here we will be having tan inverse tan inverse going to the right hand side it will become tan and the right hand side we have tan 180 plus theta so what is it gonna look like tan 180 plus theta is tan theta so tan of tan inverse of minus 7 tan tan inverse gets cancelled minus 7 1 into this 1 minus x is going to the right hand side so what is the left out part 2x square minus x plus 1 so this is minus 7 plus 7x this is plus 7x coming to the left hand side minus 7x minus x minus 7x minus 8x so 2x square minus 8x plus 1 okay so plus 1 going to the right hand side it is will be become minus 8 here this is minus 8x 2x square minus 8x plus 8 2x square minus 8x plus 8 is equals to 0 okay now let's verify which of the following option is going to give you the correct answer directly also you can verify there so 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 plus 8 plus 8 8 16 minus 0 so what is the correct answer x value equal to 2 so x value is equal to 2 is verified for that particular correct answer in short this problem you can solve by substituting this two value here 2 plus 1 3 2 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 1 actually 2 if you're going to solve this is also you are going to get tan inverse of 7 this tan inverse of 7 then this tan inverse of minus 7 is going to get cancelled substituting that uh, x value must, must be 2 okay if you substitute the x value equal to 2 directly you will get the answer but four values also you need to substitute uh, to get a perfect answer and that is not recommended because we know the method so follow the method sometimes it will uh, be not in the option a it will be there in the option d so it's going to be time consuming in that time you can solve the method and get a correct answer also okay go through it last question now again the pi by 2 form we know the formula sin inverse x plus cos inverse you need to have here to become the pi by 2 so converting this into cos inverse x let's draw a triangle what do we have here opposite hypotenuse what is the adjacent gonna become x square minus 16 we want cos inverse cos inverse is uh, adjacent by hypotenuse so what we can write the same question as sin inverse of 3 by x plus cos inverse of adjacent by hypotenuse root of x square minus 16 divided by x is equals to pi by 2 
when you are going to get the pi by 2 and sin inverse cos inverse bracket term must be what equal these two terms must be equal so we can write 3 by x is equal to root of x square minus 16 divided by x x x cancel squaring on both sides 3 3 is a 9 9 equal to x square minus 16 25 is equals to x square x is equals to 5 so what is the correct answer for this question 5 so in this very important 10 questions we discussed two theta forms x plus y form pi by 2 form uh, and uh, most of the questions were covered by these three methods because two theta is uh, generally asked in the past two three years itself x plus y is all time pi by 2 is the most important concept for all the inverse trigonometry okay Chalo. Pause the video and note it down and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to be notified for the new updates from Sai Medha Kuti Hyderabad. Okay? I wish you all the best with one more video we will come back and uh, keep learning with Sai Medha.in.